Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how I will turn this into this. Check it out. So this will be the setup, I'll be using an SM57 microphone, I'll directly record into my Focusrite audio interface and um, we'll go on from there. This is the, the project that I've made so far. Uh, as you can see, I've recorded multiple tracks and I'm gonna show you what I did and how I got the result which I got in the end. So uh, without any effects, they sound like this. It's just an acoustic guitar. If you go to, for example, the breakdown, it sounds... well... You can even hear a little bit of background recording. Uh, as you can see, I already did some chopping there, which I will explain later. So, what I will start with is uh, the bass guitar. And the bass guitar is... well, just... I just played one snare, and I'm gonna start by pitching it down a full octave. Well, you'll see why, because now it will sound like a bass guitar. It's... It's crazy, by just pitching it down. Uh, I also use this track on my electric guitars when I'm recording my own songs, because I don't have a bass guitar. But, you need bass. Um, and then, let me show you the IQ. I just cut a little bit there. I didn't do a lot of EQing because, well, this is not going to be a masterwork, but anyway, you can do whatever you want with it. And I added the Easy Mix plugin uh, with the bass birth quake uh, sound, and it will sound like this. A very deep, a little bit of distortion. Um, I like this sound. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's for the bass. Now to the guitars, <laughs> they were a little bit more challenging, uh, I got, well, let's say, let's pick this part. It's a little bit sloppy playing, I admit that. Um, and the guitars, they're running through track 4 and 5. As you can see, I've added sound goodies eyes up, which I uh, will turn on right now. And I've added Archetype Gojira, which is my, well, I would say my favorite plugin so far for creating metal. What I am doing right now is this. Okay, I'm just going to turn them on and let you hear what, what it sounds like. That's already quite insane. I'm running them through a guitar buzz. Uh, and I just used a preset GD Rhythm 1. It's a, it's a built preset that comes when you buy this plugin, uh, which I highly recommend. It's, it's awesome to work with. Um, and I run both of these tracks through a guitar buzz, where I boosted the mids, and I got rid of a lot of lows. I probably should remove some high end as well. Um... Uh, let me see, just do it like that. Uh. That's better. Okay. Now, when you come to the breakdown, that was the most challenging part. Because if I keep playing, it's not that bad. But let me show you what happens if I didn't cut all this. Listen to this. If I wouldn't have cut it. You hear that white noise? It's because the dry signal. Um, there's a lot of distortion on um, on these guitars, and you don't want that in your mix. So if you just cut it out, you'll find. You still hear it. If you add bass, and it pitches. It will sound so much better. So, what you have to do is make sure, if you're going to do some breakdowns and stuff like that, 
then you have to cut away the white noise. Um, don't expect the best guitar sound ever because I recorded it through the SM57 mic. Um, you never have a very dry signal. Perhaps if you try it with a semi acoustic guitar, it will sound better, but obviously these guitars aren't made to get a lot of distortion. So you can play with that as well. Um, I used the Archetype Abassi for the lead, and I also used a pre made preset there. Cut it away, a lot of lows, and boosted it a little bit. Um, 